Hey guys. Okay, I'm here at the dollar store. I'm about to head inside and see what kind of inspiration um, I can find for a dollar. Okay, so I have a whole cart full of lace. There's another dollar store down the street. I'm going to duck in there and see what I can find. I got some stuff. I don't know if I can make anything out of it, but let's head home and try. All right, guys, it is the HGTV Handmade Dollar Store Party Decor Challenge. Uh, as you saw, I was a little bit stumped at the dollar store and came home with about 30 lays and two various sized nets. And this is it. This is my project. <laughs> no, that is not my project. I got inspired by these lays and the colors because I've always wanted to make one of these Polish floral chandeliers. Now, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation, but I think it's Payanki. If I got that wrong, Polish people, I love your country even if I can't speak your language. Payanki are these beautiful paper flower chandeliers. That's where these guys come into play. Um, I thought that it would work to have a larger hoop on top and a smaller hoop on the bottom. So the first thing we need to do is take these nets apart, remove the net, and just be left with the wire frame. All right, and now I'm just going to remove the net with scissors. So once we remove the net, you are left with this lovely, um, oddly shaped hoop. So I'm going to grab a pair of pliers and just bend this flat. I'm going to use just a piece of duct tape to tape these two ends together and hopefully our flower lays will cover up that duct tape. Now I'm using gold duct tape because that's what I had and it's kind of fabulous. So, strip of duct tape, hold those ends together, and cover that up. And kind of bend it to make it a little more uniform. That one's ready. Let's do the same thing with this guy. Depending on the net you choose, you may or may not need pliers. You may be able to manipulate um, the wire just with your fingers. This is pretty surprisingly sturdy for a dollar, I have to say. You could like catch some fish with this. Okay. And straighten that out. Let's connect those ends with a strip of our fabulous gold duct tape. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take two of our lays. These come three for a dollar. Super bargain. So we're going to take one of them. And we're basically going to take two lays and crisscross them across the top so that we can hang this and construct the rest of the structure. So I'm going to start by cutting one of these in half. And removing a few of the flowers so that we have our strings exposed. And then just tie it on. If you're following along the challenge at home, don't throw anything away until you're completely finished. And take the other end tie it on across from the first one. So now we're going to take another one and we're going to string it across the opposite so that we'll have a nice stable uh, support to hang our chandelier. Now we kind of have our first hoop 
hanging. So I brought this coat rack out here to use, but you could also use a doorknob and sit on the floor, or you could use a hook like on the back of a door. Just anything that you can hang it from to construct the rest of our chandelier. So now I'm going to use these garden twist ties to attach this hoop down below. Now, what I really wanted to do this with was clear filament, like fishing wire, but I went to two different dollar stores and they did not have it. So I'm hoping if I really fill it in with a lot of our lays, you won't be able to see this bright green. So let's take about, let's see, I'm gonna do like from my wrist to my elbow. All right, so we have our green twist ties. And you know, again, ideally you're using a clear monofilament, but honestly, I'm planning to hang this on my patio if it turns out as cute as I'm picturing. So hopefully the green will blend in with all this green. So just spread those out around our top Here. So now we're going to attach our lower hoop and my thought is that the lays are going to kind of swag down woo, <laughs> from this one, kind of hang down a little bit and then connect here. So in order to get that swag, we need the hoop to be a little shorter than our lay. Attach that the same way. Now we are going to start attaching our lays. Now I bought lays um, like a couple of different colors. You know, you can kind of layer in whatever colors you want, whatever colors are available to you. But the bulk of what I bought are these. I loved, I love the texture of the little flowers. I just thought they were super pretty and they almost look like they are uh, watercolor on the inside. So I just think they have like a lovely, textural quality to them that reminds me a lot of the paper flowers you would see in the traditional Polish floral chandeliers. So that's why I bought mostly these guys. Also you get three of them for a dollar whereas these are a little more fancy. You only get one of those for a dollar. So definitely more bang for your buck. So here's what I'm thinking. We cut the lay in half and we use the two halves to kind of swag up like that. And if you had the clear monofilament, you could just attach the whole lay, but I don't, and I think the green will be really distracting. So we're gonna cut it and tie them on. And for some of them, we're going to use the whole lay and swag it down, because I have like a third layer planned for the end. But we have like, we have a lot of work to do before we get there. So let's start by cutting these in half. Again, removing some of our flour. I think we have the top part of our chandelier pretty good. I'm actually kind of really digging this. So now I think I'm going to take the bottom, all of these little tails that are hanging down. I'm going to gather them, take off the excess, tie a knot, and then I have one more finishing touch to add on. So to do this, I'm gonna clip off our knots at the end, pull off the excess. So I'm just gonna tie all of these strings in a big knot. Now for our final touch, I'm going to thread some of our leftover flowers onto some leftover lay string. And we're going to make some little bundles of flowers to hang from the bottom. So I've already strung up some of these flowers and now I'm going to do a smaller bundle of the light pink and a smaller bundle of the white. Okay, so we've made our little bundles of flowers, which, like, I can't believe these come from three for a dollar lays. I just think they're so cute. And now I'm just going to tie those to this knot, and 
and then trim up all of our extra string. Well, I have to say, for a couple of bug nets and some dollar store lays, this is pretty adorable. I'm going to hang it up on my patio, and I'll see you guys next time.